Hi guys, uh, I got this flash drive here that uh, we will be recovering off the chip today. Uh, the reason why we have to recover it off the chip is because it is not getting connected when it's connected to the USB port on any type of device. We plug it in and it just gives us no signs of life whatsoever. So um, I'm not sure if you saw any of our previous videos but we do demonstrate this method um, for a couple of other devices and basically the principle is the same is that when the flash drive is dead and it's not responsive there is no software out there really that will be able to re reunite you with the data that you lost on that flash drive if the computer can't see it software can't see it either so uh, we have to find an alter alternative solution. Alternative solution in this case would be to actually read that memory out somehow and then use the, use the software and apply it to the memory that we read out. Now, the only problem is, is that if you try to read that memory through the USB port, the USB port will communicate first with the controller. And if the controller is dead, well, that's where it ends. That's why your device is not getting recognized to begin with. So in our case, what we got here is a flash drive that consists of a couple of main components. Uh, component number one that is really critical, uh, it's actually the memory source itself. And that micron chip that you see here is exactly the device that has the information inside of it. Now, if we flip this unit upside down, if this was a 16 gigabyte device or 32 gigabyte device, I'm pretty sure there would be two of these chips, but in our case, it's only eight gig, so there's only one chip. Uh, but we also have this chip that says SM3253LAE on it. That's our controller component. The controller is what manages the data inside of this chip and records it in a specific pattern that is then uh, used to extend the life of this flash drive. So there is really no simple way to explain how this thing works, but without functional controller, the memory is trapped on this component here. So we're gonna remove this memory component and we're gonna use a device that will be able to attach uh, itself to the memory and uh, give us raw information that is stored inside. In order to do that, we need to first of all be able to somehow desolder this chip from the board carefully without getting it damaged. So what I've done now is just added flux uh, to the to the pins. That flux will help us with the soldering process. Okay, removal of the memory component.
All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're actually going to uh, clean up this um, memory component that we just removed. And that is going to be done with the help of a wick and a soldering iron. This is too much zoom for me, I'm gonna have to zoom out, so for some reason the picture is giving out too much glare. I'm gonna try to play around with different types of light sources to uh, eliminate this issue. Now the reason why we did that just now is to actually level all of these legs so that they are all nice and straight, okay? Because this piece is going to go into an adapter that will have to clamp to all of them and establish connection with the chip itself. Okay, but before it goes into adapter, I always like to uh, clean it up, make sure that there's no sticky flux residue on it. Because that residue will just ruin my equipment. So it's not really because I like to do it, it's just I have to do it. I actually don't really like to clean it. But anyways, so what this is is just a electronics cleaner basically it's like 99.9% .9 alcohol and by um, brushing it up like this with the horsehair brush I'm gonna get rid of all of the all of the nasty stuff that's between those pins. We don't want any of that stuff on there. This chip is made by Micron, so our equipment is actually going to be very, very effective for this memory because uh, it does have an option of performing a read retry, which works really, really well for this manufacturer of memory components and um, it will allow us to extract pretty much 100% bit error free image of this of this drive when i say image i don't mean like a picture <laughs> image it's just a sector by sector copy of the of the content of this drive. This is what our chip looks like now. We're just gonna grab it, push the device on. And this is what the um, adapter mechanism looks like. So, gently by holding it down, I'm gonna release the clamp. Now, once the clamp is released, we gotta make sure that uh, it, it, it's making solid connection. Again, uh, the lightning for some reason throws the image off a little bit. It's giving too much glare, but 
basically these pins right here need to align with the pins of the chip now that it's it's finished we need to mount this adapter piece to the actual reader device and that's done by attaching these nuts to the um, to the bolts there's four of them now that our unit is attached we don't really have to touch this thing anymore it's uh, all software work after this so right now we have it on fast forward times 15 uh, because this uh, reading process is extremely time consuming uh, once we obtained the raw data from the chip that raw data would need to be uh, formed into the structure so that we can actually get a view of the folders and subfolders and files in the exact same way as the original owner had it on the USB stick when they plugged it into the computer. Now once we get to that point all we have to do is just select everything and save it. So our unit technically works like a universal USB flash drive that can cooperate with any type of memory and be programmed to work like any type of device uh, that comes in a flash drive package. So if you guys need our assistance, uh, you may find our contact information on the screen. Click in the description. There's a bunch of useful links in there, uh, as well as uh, our phone number and the website address. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe to our channel. If you're interested in data recovery content, we'll be definitely putting out more of that stuff in a very short period of time.